2022 is off to a violent start in Philadelphia. More than a dozen people becoming victims to the ongoing gun violence crisis. Two of them killed. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Payute joins us live from police headquarters. Jasmine. Alicia, good evening. Philadelphia ended 2021 with at least 560 homicides, breaking a previous record of 500. Last night's violence signaling more of the same. New Year's Eve celebrations turned into crime scenes as gunshots replaced fireworks, leaving at least 14 people shot, two killed across Philadelphia. The first homicide of 2022 unfolding around 1 o'clock Saturday morning. The location of the crime scene uh, was uh, some sort of an auto parts store or auto repair shop, which had been converted apparently this evening for a New Year's Day party. Police say a 33-year-old man was at the party in the city's Feltonville neighborhood when he was shot multiple times and pronounced dead on the scene. Two other women were also injured but expected to recover. Multiple witnesses indicated that the shooter was actually at the party as well. About 20 minutes later, police responded to the 1600 block of Cecil B. Moore near Temple University's campus where they found five people shot. One of the victims, a 16-year-old boy, suffered from a gunshot wound to the back of the head and was pronounced dead at the hospital. What I can tell you is that the group was part of a larger group who were assembled here in this area uh, for New Year's Eve, New Year's Day festivities. Uh, when they were shot. Other incidents overnight include several shootings and one stabbing, but none fatal. In her end of the year note, Philadelphia Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw addressed the surge in violence, saying in 2021, Philadelphia experienced an unconscionable amount of shootings, homicides, and other violent crime, the frequency of which the city has never experienced before. We refuse to accept this as normal. The commissioner says the department's plans to improve safety in the new year includes launching a non-fatal shooting team, expanding community services, and adding more officers. We're live at police headquarters. Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jasmine, thank you.